Hey, welcome back. So today we're gonna apply actuals to our expenses, and we're gonna do that through importing uh, importing the actual costs from Excel into B6. It's a much simpler way. You can see over here I have our cost loaded schedule, and you can see the construction activities have values associated with them. They've been assigned uh, using expenses. You can see down here. Um, and so everything has zero dollars of actual expense costs. And what I'd like to do today is uh, use what, what might look like a pay app, um, you know, basically a schedule of values that's gonna have our activity IDs and then the actual costs that we want to apply to those specific act, um, activities. But uh, it, we wanna just use, we wanna do it all at once rather than uh, the traditional way would be that you click on each individual activity and you change the actual cost, you know. So here you might say this is $10,000, um, which would change the, the cost there. Or by going over to the expense tab and you can, um, it is quicker to do it this way. You could say, all right, this one's $20,000 and you can individually work your way through, through that. But instead, what I want to do is import directly from Excel these costs into P6. So that way, if you're dealing with a ton of activities that, that have made progress and uh, you don't want to manually go through one by one, this will be a much easier way to apply those, uh, those actuals. But before we jump in, all I ask in return for making these videos is that you check out our, uh, our P6 and Microsoft Project Comparison tool on our website, which is linked below. We believe it is the best and cheapest way to instantly view the changes between two schedule files. The first 10 days are free, it is $10 per month thereafter, and you can cancel at any time. All right, so let's go ahead and jump back in. So, um, like I said before, we have our Excel file here. Uh, we have our activity IDs and the actual costs that we want applied to each one of those activity IDs. So the first step that we need to do is create um, an export in Excel from this file so we have a template to bring in those values back into the schedule. So let's go ahead and uh, Let's go ahead and do a file export. And we're gonna make an Excel file here. And we're gonna use expenses, export. And then I created this template called expenses, but if we modify that, really the only thing that we need is the activity ID, the expense item, and the budgeted cost. I would get rid of activity status because I don't need it, but it doesn't allow me to do that. So let's go ahead and press OK. Actually, let me go back there. We don't need budgeted cost, excuse me. We need actual cost. So let's get rid of the budgeted cost because the actual is what we're, we're wanting to pull in. So let's go ahead and press OK. Next, find a place to export the file to. Next, and then finish. And so now our file has been exported. So just go search for that file, which mine is over here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open that file up. And here is what it looks like. So you can see I have all of my activity IDs. Um, the expense item is called a cost. I mentioned before, we don't need this activity status and uh, just as a, for, for your information, anything with an asterisk in the column is not an importable field. So um, I, I actually can't import values from this column. So I'm just gonna delete it because I don't need it anyway. And then we have our actual costs. So what I need to do is I wanna take this information and I want to format it in a way that is gonna look like this and, uh, and put it under the right columns, and then that way I can bring that back into P6. But I have to format it to get it in a, in a format that's importable for P6 to know uh, what values are in each cell. So by, by doing that, what I need to do 
I'm going to take anything that has an actual cost in it because those are the items that I want to import. I can ignore the rest, anything with a zero dollar actual cost value. I don't need those. So what I'm going to do is I'll delete those values. And then I have um, these headings here, which I also don't want to import those. So let's go ahead and delete those. And so now I'm just left with these activity IDs and then these values here. And uh, one thing I show in other videos is make sure that there's no leading spaces in, uh, in here. So sometimes you'll see, you know, in a pay application, you, it might be indented or something like that. So what I always like to do to just make sure that I have a clean activity ID is I'll use the formula called trim and I'll trim uh, that cell and it removes the leading spaces in there and uh, so that's what I'm going to use that formula that that one that we just did I'm going to copy that over into our template file so let's I can actually delete all of these let's go ahead and delete these and I'm going to say I'm going to I actually I have to recopy that excuse me so let's let's copy our activity IDs that have been cleaned up and then I always do paste values. So just right click and say paste values. And then that way we're not dealing with formulas because you can't have formulas in your import sheet or else it won't read it. Um, the expense item, you have to clarify what the expense item is. So because our expense item, if we go back to our schedule and we can see the expense item name on all of these is called cost. We also want to match that on our spreadsheet. So we'll just call this cost and we'll copy that down. And uh, you can create, you know, you can obviously name the expense different things. And so we just want to make sure that we're matching whatever it is that we're wanting to import to. Because if, it, if there's a mismatch, then it's not going to know which, which uh, expense to match it to when we run the import. So We've done our cost import, and then I just need to bring over my actual costs. And I, again, I just need to match what I have over here and just make sure that, you know, for this 1060 activity, that it's $20,000. For 1240 down here, it's 10. I just need to make sure that I match the dollar amounts exactly to the activity IDs as I want them imported. And I always like to just paste values so that way I'm not bringing over formatting or formulas or anything like that. So let's go ahead, we'll save this file. We can exit out of that. And then I can go back to P6. And uh, let's use, let's go back to my activities page. So you can see, once I run the import, you can see those numbers come in, those values. So focus down here as I, um, as I run the import, and you'll see it goes from $0 to the new values when I import them. <laughs> so I'm gonna go to file import and then run this little wizard here click on spreadsheet next select my file and then um, i just need to navigate to that that file that i had just saved which is there expenses update existing import to this file that we're working off of and finish and so you can see here it pulled in all of those actual expense values. It uh, reduced the remaining um, cost based on how much we, we build. And uh, so there you go. That's how you import actual costs into your schedule. Don't forget you, you need to physically um, add progress to your activities. But if you're, again, if you're working off of a pay app and you're just wanting to match the values in the pay app and you have the activity IDs in the pay app, like we did on uh, over here, then uh, that's how you would import those actual costs into your schedule file to make sure that they they match. So uh, yeah, I hope that uh, hope that helps, and uh, we'll see you in the video next time. All right, take care. Bye.